Hi, it's time for another math easy. So we're going to discuss further into economics and look at examples of the videos I made on marginal cost and especially the one versus marginal revenue in which I showed that the profit is maximum when when marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost here. And you can see my early video on definition of these ones here. And we're going to look at these two examples. We'll do the second one if I have time, but we'll do this one first here. Example one, determine the production level that will maximize the profit for a company with cost and demand functions as this one here. Remember, this one is just a, the total cost to produce X items. And this one is just uh, the price per, it is basically dollars per item that you are charging. So remember, this is charging. Okay, and now to get the maximum profit, well, we know that profit is just equal to revenue minus the cost of production here. And revenue, and, and so then we just need to find an equation for revenue. We have cost. And then set it equal, to, we'll take the derivative and, and set them equal to each other because marginal cost equals this one, profit is max. So then revenue is just, uh, this one is a function of x. So revenue at the x production. So yeah, when, when this is says determine the production level, we just have to find what x is. So basically it's uh, how much uh, items you're producing. And revenue, remember I showed my earlier video, is just, yeah, the, it just the amount of, items you produce times by the price per item that you are charging. So this times by P of X. Yeah, time P of X right here. So now if uh, we plug this inside here, we're going to get, this is just going to be 3.5 X minus 0.01 X squared here. And uh, recall that the marginal revenue is just a derivative. So right now we have the margin, we have revenue, we have cost. So the profit is max when they, the marginal uh, revenue equals marginal cost. So we just take the der derivative of this case. So R prime of X, this one's just gonna be equal to 3.5 minus 0.02 X using power rule. And then the derivative of the cost function, this one is just equal to, this is just gonna be 1.26 minus 0.02 X plus 0.000, this gonna be 21 X squared. So now we just set these equal to each other here. So this one's gonna equal to this. This is, this is the case when the profit is max, so we'll write these down. So we have this over here, and we just cancel this like terms here. This cancels, and this cancels, and then shift this over to this side. We're going to get, you know, get 2.24 divided by, I mean, it equals this one here. Then just solving for x, we're going to get x equals 2. Yeah, so rearranging, we get this one over here, square root of uh, plus or minus square root 2.24 divided by this. But now in real life, there's no negative. We're not, we can't have negative production here, so we only look at the positive. And if we plug this into the calculator, we're going to get... Let's go square root 2,000, I mean 2.24 divided by 0 0.00021. This equals to, well, yeah, around 103.27. Or we'll just uh, write it around 103 items here. So we'll just call this. And now to ensure that this is actually the production level to get the maximum profit, well, we know that Profit is just equal to revenue minus the cost, how much money you make, minus how much you spend here. And if you take the derivative, so it's up to the second derivative, you're just going to get uh, the second derivative of this one is equal to yeah, second derivative of uh, revenue minus second derivative of, of uh, cost here. And now in, in this case here, when we look at the second derivatives of both of these ones here, let's just solve this one. So our second prime, of, so second derivative of revenue is just going to be equal to, well, that's this one here, just going to be equal to negative 0 0.02. And then the second derivative of cost, this one is equal to, well, let's look at over this one here. This is going to be plus over here. So we're going to get equals to negative 0 0.02 plus 0 0.00042. And then there's an x here. So as you can see here, this, this one is greater than, well, yes, yeah, C double prime of X is always going to be greater than the revenue here, uh, the second order of revenue, because you have this extra plus here. So you're adding whatever this is, this is going to be positive. So then this is always greater than it. If it's always greater than it, then this one, if, if this is greater than rev this one here, so you're going to subtract by a greater number. So then what this means is that P double prime is less than zero. And then using the second de derivative test, this is always concaving down. So this is a maximum here. So this is the max. You see a video, you see a video link on an info below on 
second derivative test and also on these marginal costs and, uh, and otherwise. So we, we have the maximum here. And now if you were to graph these two right here, though, this is the this graph the cost function with uh, with the uh, the price function. I mean, not the price function. We'll, we'll, if we graph the cost function and the revenue function here, you you can see why it should be a maximum here. So if we pu pu put in here point, this is an x. Yeah. So there, this is the cost function. Put the revenue one here. We're gonna have three point five x minus point zero one x squared. So we just graph this, scroll this up here, and just adjust the scale a bit like this. Now we could zoom in a bit on the other side here. So as you can see from this one here, this this the revenue is in, is in red, and then the blue is is the cost function here. So as you can see that you make money whenever the revenue is greater than the cost here. So in this little a loop here this little circle uh, circular stuff here this is when we were making money here and remember that it's max at 103 so at the 103 mark here it's this is the this is the maximum difference in revenue which is the red vers versus the cost here so this is where the maximum profit is and and then afterwards you start making less money and in this case you're losing money so you're losing money initially here losing money here but you're making money between this and this spot right here and, and at this point, actually, it's the, the tangent line to these two points are parallel because, remember, the marginal revenue is equal to the marginal cost. Well, uh, well yeah, it looks like I'm spending too much time. So it, so I'll probably do the, the other this example in another video here. I'll probably do that tomorrow. But uh, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this, uh, this ex example on how to apply basically the fact that marginal revenue equals marginal cost given a cost and a demand or price function here. Well, it's all for today. Remember, you can always download these notes and um, stay tuned for another math easy solution.